Episode 3 of The Last of Us gave us a love story in a world during a time that was filled with darkness and the sole need to survive. And this love story specifically centered around a character that seemed like he wasn't looking for it either. However, we sadly saw their love story come to an end in an extremely sad way. Within one of my last videos, there were a few comments that were alluding to the fact that the strawberry that Bill and Frank consumed could have been contaminated with cordyceps, and it could have been something that ultimately led to Frank getting sick. So, I thought I'd do a video explaining if it was, what it was, and how Frank came to get critically ill and what had taken over him. So, let's get into it. Here is Was There Cordyceps on the Strawberry in The Last of Us Episode 3. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Within Episode 3 of the show, we saw Bill and Frank form a relationship and spend nearly 20 years together inside of a secluded, protected Lincoln that Bill had made his own after everybody was evacuated in 2003. Ten years later, in around 2013, we saw a scene with both Bill and Frank out for a run together, and they finished in a spot where we saw that Frank had surprised Bill by growing some strawberries, a fruit that's often used in a post-apocalyptic world to symbolize life, familiarity, and a taste of what once was. However, during this scene, and most specifically the close-up of the hand picking the strawberry, there was something that was underneath it that looked a little concerning. Many people were speculating that it could have been cordyceps, and that was the reason as to why Frank ultimately ended up getting sick. However, this is not the case. When we look at what it could be in the close-up, and then when we cut to the following shots of them eating the strawberry, we could also see in this moment that there were these things flying and floating around in the air, in the way that the wind was blowing. Contrary to a few opinions, these look like they're from a dandelion, or a plant that would have its base blown away with a strong wind, this would also make sense for what's next to the strawberry when Frank's hand went in to pick one out of the ground. The pappus of the dandelion is what I believe was floating in the air and was also next to the multiple strawberries that were in the ground. The main reason for it not being anything to do with cordyceps is because both Frank and Bill lived 10 years after consuming the strawberry, as we saw them both in 2023. And although Frank was sick, Bill didn't get sick at all, so Frank got ill from something else. The symptoms that he had were nothing like what cordyceps would have emitted either. So what was Frank's illness? Well, it was never explicitly explained to us what was wrong with Frank at any part in The Last of Us. However, we saw that in 2023, he wasn't in the best condition that we'd seen him in. He was in a wheelchair, and it looked as though he needed Bill to give him 24-hour care. He appeared to be able to communicate, but he was not able to do things for himself anymore. Anything that required much physical effort anyway even down to cutting his own food. This would lean heavily into a disease that causes the individual's nervous system to start to shut down. This would mean that it could well have been MS or ALS. These diseases cause the person to gradually start to struggle to move, do things for themselves, and even speak. This could be why one half of the painting that Frank had done was slightly different to the other, because his condition had gotten worse since he first started painting a while ago. With Frank also saying how there wasn't a cure for the disease that he had before the outbreak of cordyceps occurred, it tells us as the audience that the disease that Frank had did not have anything to do with the cordyceps pandemic that happened, and it was nothing to do with the strawberry that was consumed. Regardless, it was an extremely sad moment when we saw how Frank was in 2023. Once the character that was filled with happiness, life, and excitement, we then went on to see him sad and like he no longer wanted to be around. It was the polar opposite. So, there you have it. Was there cordyceps on the strawberry in The Last of Us Episode 3? If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What did you think of episode 3? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>